will be at Darnham, which is an alpaca tourism place where we have beautiful alpaca garments, uh, such as these gorgeous felted garments, uh, which I felt myself, and this lovely wrap, which is another one of my creations, which I launched last Sunday. And it goes out, I have spun it and knitted it and dyed it myself for my very own alpacas. And this is me moving in close <laughs> trying to do this. I love the hats. Tell us a little bit about the hats, oh, the hats. too. I'll show, come and say I'll show you the hats. This is one of my hats. This is, uh, my friends have referred to this as a mushroom hat and the mushroom colours. <laughs> so this has been made from my alpacas as well as these very cute, I won't put them on because I don't look good in berets, but good little circle, circle weaving berets that are done as well from, from alpaca. So and, and Angela, you were just sort of talking about your beautiful alpacas. How many do you have? There's about 70 on the place. Well, we go and have a quick look then. We'll go and have a quick look. So we're about an hour and 20 minutes from Melbourne, straight down the freeway. No traffic lights, which is great for any broads abroad. It's very easy driving if you've hired your car and you can come straight down the freeway. Right. So these are all my alpacas. This is um, Afternoon Delight, just standing here. So, um, we have Miss Patsy and we have um, all, the, all the characters from the Australian book, Seven Little Australians. Oh, lovely. Kip lovely. Bunty and, uh, and the little baby down the end, you probably can't see that, but he was just born last week. He's called Captain from Seven Little Australians. Oh, gorgeous. And we've got Fleur and Bronte and Charlotte. And so uh, do you, is it shears at the bottom? Would you yes, we the shear words? them once a year. So we take off all the fleece. We tie them down on what looks like a long table and we put ropes to shear them and rolls them over. And then I have a team and myself, we go around and collect it all and bag it all up. Right. And then what do you do with the fleece? And then I clean it and dye it and cart it through a big um, carter, which makes it all nice and smooth. And I can then spin it and felt it and dye it from there. Right, right. And then uh, create the mushroom hat, the berets and the wraps and, and the, the wraps scarves. And yes, scarves yeah. and all my knitting and spinning. Right, um, right. And this is Angela's uh, shop. If we go around this way, we'll just pan this way. This is her beautiful shop. shop. And so this is where you can sit outside because I now have a liquor license. So you've got to come and have a wine and cheese and pate, which you can select from the fridge. And then we plate it up for you and you can sit out and enjoy this beautiful view. Or if it's a bit cold, you can sit inside the shop and just watch the view from the, through the doors. I, I think this is something broads would really love. The, and um, items that are in the shop sort of suit the, the age group yes. of the 45 over. Yes. Uh, and they're very classic. And again, for travellers, it's fantastic because alpaca is lighter than wool. So you can pack it up and bundle it up into really small items, so take it home. But sometimes you get women that have bought an item and then five years later they come back and they say they're still wearing they're it. They're still wearing it. They're long lasting. Them, but it's not good for me. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. What other things around here could, uh, could they get up to? Well, we've got some beautiful B&Bs. There's a gorgeous one just near me. Uh, we've got Yarrigan, which has got galleries and other beautiful shops just down the road. Uh, we have a musical village of the world's only musical village, basically. Uh, there's produce stores, there's white, heaps of wineries um, and uh, beautiful country walks, there's some mountains, um, places you can walk around and uh, yeah, so most people can manage to fill two or three days. Great, great. I think Angela's my new best friend at Darnham. We're at Darnham, Nickleby in Darnham. Bye, Thanks, Angela. <laughs>